This blog is looking at view orientation. When I look at creating a component like this, I like to think of placing it inside a box. I have used one, two, three colors to symbolize the three faces of a box, all leading to a point. I'm going to select three faces from this yellow object to touch each one of those faces. And my selection depends on the detail that there is. So if we look at the back face here, you can see we've got a counterbore hole. So I'd most probably want that to be my front view, as it's easy to see. At the end of the day, we're trying to make drawings as easy to understand as possible. We're also looking at the top here, and you can see we've got the various elements that we're after, and we can go on from there. So three default views that we're going to use is our front view, showing our detail quite nicely, a top view, we can sort of do our radiuses, our holes, and everything else like that. And most probably our right view. Okay, and therefore we can get our thicknesses. We can then develop it further, or put more views in if required, inside our drawing. The reason why we sort of do this is to make it easier selecting our drawing views. We're going to continue looking at view orientation. To help me explain this better, I'm going to look at a different model. So I've got a model open. And it's just this stapler here. If we look at the feature tree, we can tell that it is imported geometry. If we look at the default front, top, and right planes, you can see our rotation is not great. Okay, it's being exported in a peculiar angle. If we press spacebar, we can see using our view selector that it's not in a pleasant angle to do drawings from. So if we selected front view, for example, it's not particularly useful to us. As I say, through support and through training, we've been asked, can you reset these views? Well, the simple answer is yes. And that's what we're going to take you through now. All I'm going to simply do is select these two faces, press spacebar, and click this normal two option. What you can do then is sort of set your orientation as you wish. So I want this to be my front view. Once I've set that, I'm simply going to click the spacebar and then go next to new view, go update standard view. When you click on this tool, it asks you to select what do you want this view to be? Well, I want this to be my front view. It says that it's going to change the other views. Am I okay with that? I'm going to click yes. Now when we press spacebar and look at our view selector, you can see if we click isometric, it's quite nice. If we select our top view, it's also nice, and we can go through looking at the various elements. Once we've changed the orientation like we have done here, we may want to then do a quick sort of animation of it, so we're looking at different views. So we're going to go into this motion study here, just going to use the basic animation. And all I want to do is create a few views around, showing off flattering angles of this stapler or this project. Basically how this works is that you'd set everything by keys. So maybe right at the beginning you might want an isometric view or something like that. Okay. Then at two seconds, so you want right at the beginning, you want an isometric view. Two seconds, you might want to place a key. You might want that to be an orientation of front. At four seconds, you may want the right view. So I'm going to place another key. If we just go through that, you can see what we've got at the moment. We'll make sure that they have been set correctly. So it goes from isometric to our front view to our top view, or to our right view, sorry. However, we might want to choose a view that is not in our default panel here. So let's create our own view. I'm going to use the view selector to help me for this, but you can choose any angle you want. If you click spacebar, obviously you've got your view selector open, and if we click isometric, that's what it looks like. Maybe I want to select sort of the reverse isometric, back isometric. 
I go to that. To create a new view, you press spacebar again, and you can click on this new view icon. You can call it whatever you want, so I might say back ISO, and click OK. You can see here, you've got back ISO. I can change to any orientation I want and quickly flick back to that view angle. You can actually save these, so if you want to use it on multiple projects, not in just this one, you can click save. But we're going to talk about that on another day. Maybe I want to incorporate this into my sort of setup. So maybe at six seconds, I'm going to place another key. And that one's going to be our back ISO. What we should be able to do is go to the beginning and click play. Now you can see it's going from an ISO to the front, to the right, and then to our new view.